Welcome back children we have already read lesson 1 joy in the jungle in our previous class today we'll do back exercises from page number 13 to page number 17 let's discuss the oral exercises read these words aloud sturdy sturdy means strong sturdy strong absorbed poachers poachers means hunters ditch ditch means pit fine now our first question is how old do you think is munu children i think as he was not going to the school he was roaming on the buffalo's back and he was able to go to the forest also himself so he was not very young but he was not very old so we could guess i think munu is about 8 or 9 years old this is my guess you can write whatever you feel what does munu learn to play do you remember what he learned to play yes he learns to play a pipe our next uh, exercises multiple choice questions fine tick the correct answer in each what does munu find in the jungle did he find a horn no he found a pipe no children he didn't find a pipe pipe was made by munu's father he found a hollow piece of bamboo fine munu asked his father to use the bamboo piece to make a dash for him to play musical notes we already know it's a pipe how does the jungle change as munu plays the pipe it becomes dark no not at all it looks dangerous no no everyone was happy it gets filled with flowers yes this is the option the rhino has wet eyes because she is dark she is in pain kids our next question is reference to the context given just below think and answer and the question is read the sentence and answer the questions that follow the sentence is son maybe the rhino is sad because the poachers come and kill them kids this sentence is from your lesson so read the sentence carefully and answer the questions that have given below who said these words and to whom do you remember munu came back home and told father about rhino yes munu's father said these words to munu why was rhino sad it's given in the sentence only rhino was sad because poachers came and killed them kids you have to answer in the past tense because the question is in past form okay remember this always if the question is in past tense always answer in past tense why did poachers kill rhino i have already told you the answer while explaining the chapter poachers killed rhino for the costly horns and then what happened next munu and his father went to the forest to save rhino exercises related to talk listen and speech we will discuss during live class fine now come to the grammar part of your book the first topic is sentences given on page number 16 so open your book on page number 16 before doing the topic let me explain you what's a sentence look at this is blue does it make any sense is it conveying you any meaning no it's not conveying any meaning is blue umbrella the can you make out what the person is trying to tell you no it's not giving any meaning the umbrella is blue yes does it make any sense Yes it makes sense very nice shabash next example is laughing is it conveying the whole meaning no not at all is laughing baby the no it's also not conveying any meaning the baby is laughing yes this is giving some sense this is telling us something about the baby so it is giving some sense it is a sentence loves carrot loves carrot is not complete in itself so it's not a sentence carrot loves pet my does it convey any meaning to you no not at all my pet loves 
carrot. Now, yes, it's conveying a meaning. It is sense. It has some sense. So it's a sentence. So my dear students, a group of words which makes complete sense is called a sentence. You have already done this in your unit one. So let's move to exercise A. Arrange the jumbled words to make meaningful sentences. Our first one is I'm busy I today. You know a sentence always starts with the subject. Fine. So what could be the subject here? Yes, I. And after I, you have to use the helping verb that is am. So we'll write I am busy today. Fine. Our next sentence is writes three stories children for. Now does it convey you any meaning? Yes. And our subject here is she. Fine. So she, after she, you have to use the verb. You know after subject always verb comes. Fine. So she writes stories for whom? For children. She writes stories for children. Our next sentence is loves flowers he. Very easy. He is your subject. So bring it in front. He loves flowers. Loves is your verb. He loves flowers. Simple. Throw in dustbin the paper the. Now you know you have it's a sentence in which order is being given to you. So that's throw the paper in the dustbin. Very simple. Let's move to the next exercise. Exercise B, take the sentences and cross the ones that are not. If it conveys you any meaning, then put a tick. If doesn't, then put a cross. First, Ragini is a good girl. Is it conveying you the full meaning? Yes, it is conveying. So it's a sentence. That's why we'll put a tick here. Next, cat the plane. No children. It's not conveying any meaning to us. So we'll put cross here. Next, the stars shine at night. Yes, it's conveying the meaning that at, during night stars always shine. So we'll put tick here. Birds fly in the sky. Yes, it's also conveying the full meaning. So we'll put tick here again. Next one, Sunday's holiday are me for. No, not at all. It's not conveying any meaning to us. So we'll put cross. Last one, table book on. Does it convey you any meaning? Does it? No. So put cross here. Next exercise. Exercise C. Match the group of words given in two columns to form complete sentence. Column A and column B. Column A. This is. What will we write? My book. Children, I will suggest you not to draw lines instead of right in front. This is my book. Fine, right in front. Rahul swims well. We'll match Rahul with swims well. Sangeeta is a good dancer. Match Sangeeta with a good dancer. The sky is very high. The sky is very high. Our next, complete the sentences with words of your choice. I like dash. Now I'll suggest few to you. You can write anything, whatever you want to write. I like cricket, painting, reading. I like to play, etc. Anything you want to write. Second, this is dash. This is a pen. This is an apple. This is my book. This is my ball. Or you can write anything else. The sun dash. The sun is shining brightly. The sun shines brightly. Or you want to write the sun is a bo big ball of hot gases. Whatever you want to write. Birds dash. Birds fly in the sky. Birds are flying. Birds chirp loudly, etc. Our next topic is questions. Framing questions using WH words. Now, what are WH words? Children, questions are sentences that end with question mark. This you already know. Fine. Now, WH words. We have what. Fine. First word is what. Why we use what? Yeah, where we use what? What is used to ask for information about something? When we want to get information, we use what? What is your name? I want to get information about your name. Next is when. 
when is used when you are asking about time when did he leave who who was used when you asking about what or which person about a subject who opened the door where where is used to ask about a place or a position where are my keys and lastly which which is used to ask about choice which color do you want fine so we'll use these wh these what when who where which are known as wh words we'll do the exercises using this wh words so question is complete the following conversation with wh words now you know wh words they are what which when where fine manku dash are you going banku i am going to the city now you know he is asking about a place so to ask about a place we use where next dash will you do there banku i'll teach in a school now manku needs an information so to ask for an information we use what what will you do there i'll teach in a school manku dash will you stay banku i'll stay in a hotel now he is inquiring about a place so you know to ask about a place we use where where will you stay i'll stay in a hotel dash will you be back now banku answered after one year manku is asking about the time so for time we have when when will you back banku after one year next exercise learn new words learn new words the question is complete the sentences with the opposites of the words given in the brackets our first sentence is reena is the runner in the class and you have the bracketed word slowest you know the opposite of slow what's the opposite of slow it's fast so add est slowest fastest fastest superlative degree i dash at her joke cried opposite of cried is okay tell me the opposite of cry first it's laugh yes now it's in past form cried so we'll write laughed change it into past form cried laughed next she completed her homework dash sunset very simple opposite of after is before and the last one a dash fear is organized in the town and the bracketed word is small the opposite of small is big very simple our next exercise is circle the wrong word in each sentence write the correct word in the space provided you have given dashes so please write the answers there your first sentence is stars shine at day do they shine at day children no so circle day and write night in the space provided there they shine at night second fish live in land do they live in land do fish live in land oh the poor fish die on land so we'll circle land and we'll write water fine third one lunch is served in the morning am i correct no it's not served in the morning when is it served it's served during after nine here you could do two things you can even circle lunch and you could write breakfast there breakfast is served in the morning fine so bananas are hard to eat are they hard no no they are not hard they are soft so write soft that's all children thank you complete your exercises with the pencil only don't use pen on your book i'll catch you soon stay healthy stay safe bye bye take care